President Hakainde Hichilema of Zambia, who is also the Southern Africa Development Community Tracker Chairperson, convened a virtual meeting Wednesday which discussed Zimbabwe's disputed harmonized elections that were condemned by regional and international observers. The virtual summit, attended by Namibian President Haj Kinobob, the leader of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Felix Tsekeshedi and Tanzanian President Samia Sulu also discussed the security situation in DRC. In a statement issued by Zambia's Foreign Affairs Ministry, the leaders tabled the SADC Electoral Observing Mission Report on Zimbabwe's harmonized elections as well as other impending elections in the SADC region. Zambia's Ministry of Affairs Minister said, the values and principles that underpin the promotion of democracy and good governance are also the foundation of Zambia's foreign policy. The Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change, led by Nelson Chamisa, has rejected the outcome of the general elections, which were also condemned by SADC, the African Union, and the European Union. According to SADC, the AU and the EU, the polls fell short of regional and international standards. But President Emerson Nangagwa told the United Nations General Assembly last week that the elections were free, fair, credible, and also they were transparent. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission announced that Nangagwa got 52.6% of the vote. So every Zimbabwean, almost every Zimbabwean, is pinning its hope on this Sadiq Tracker mission that was announced by the Zambia Foreign Affairs. It was held or it was convened by the Sadiq Trekker Chairperson Hakainde Ichilema. Of course, yes, a lot of Zimbabweans have put or have pinned their hopes on Sadiq to perhaps resolve the Zimbabwean legitimacy crisis that are arising, that is arising from a disputed election. And everyone has been quick to say that Sadak will come up with a flat platform where he will institute uh, fresh elections in Zimbabwe. So part of the report that was released by the Zambia Foreign Affairs Ministry read that additionally the Sadak Electoral Observation Mission report on the harmonized elections in the Republic of Zimbabwe as well as other elections in the Sadak region will, was also discussed during the summit. These values and principles that underpin the promotion of democracy and good conveniency are also the foundation of Zambia's foreign policy. So this is what happened on the 27th of Zimbabwe from 9 o'clock to 12.30. This was the time with which the meeting took place and we are just waiting for the updates on the outcome of the meeting. But at least what we know for now, what we know for certain is that this meeting was held and Zimbabwe was discussed among a whole lot of other issues such as the issue uh, to do with the deployment of a brigade force in support of the DRC for an initial period of 12 months beginning on September 30, 2023 which was approved at the Extraordinary Organ Trekker Summit plus Sadiq Trekker Enforced Intervention. So we, this means that some of these interventions were, were, were also passed, were also acknowledged. And this also gives hope to the people of Zimbabwe that the subject actually works in other instances, in other, uh, in other jurisdictions. So the summit also deliberated on the security situation in Eastern DRC updating on the pledged critical capabilities for subject mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo and progress made towards the, the deployment in the Eastern DRC, particularly the revised indicative budget for the Sami DRC. It is also in the Zambia's interest that the pledge supports towards effort of the Sadiq mission in DRC in order to maintain regional peace and stability. So whatever Zambia is doing, whatever they want to achieve, they are saying they are doing so because the Zambia's foreign policy and uh, underpins on having peace and stability within the region. So obviously, any chaos that happens in Zimbabwe will definitely affect Zambia. Anukunika Nifaru, the new
Honorable Madiva. 